The Cathedral of Santa Maria de Fiore is a breathtaking architectural masterpiece that dominates the skyline of Florence, Italy. The construction of the building started in 1296 and slowly continued until 1418 when the only element of the cathedral left to design was the dome. This dome was more complex than a semicircular dome that was popular at the time. It came with great structural challenges. The base of the dome was an octagon, and the dome would have to be built without any temporary supporting frames during construction, since there was not enough timber in Tuscany to build a scaffold, and the recipe for concrete was lost with the fall of Rome. Another challenge was that the base was not a perfect octagon, so it did not have a perfect center, which provided challenges when distributing the loads evenly. An open competition was held for the commission of the design of the dome. The competition was won by Filippo Brunelleschi. Filippo Brunelleschi was a goldsmith and sculptor who had just returned from Rome where he studied architecture. Brunelleschi was an inexperienced architect who was about to tackle the greatest architectural challenge of his time. In order to construct the dome without supporting frames, he designed a smaller dome that was to be built inside the larger dome. These domes would be connected by brick arches and rings of stone that decreased in size as the dome increased in height. These rings helped the dome fight against the compression it experienced due to gravity. The bricks would have to be able to support themselves during construction, so he developed an interlocking system that looked like a fishbone in order to lay the bricks. Layers of vertical bricks were spiraled around the dome to the top, with layers of horizontal bricks in between. This masonry pattern shifted the weight of the brick to the supporting base of the dome, and layers of vertical brick prevented the sliding of bricks caused by the wet motor. Since he didn't leave any documents of his masterpiece, we still do not fully understand how he was able to lay the bricks with such precision. One layer of brick took approximately one week to build due to the size and complexity of the design, so the dome progressed very slowly. Although, it would have taken many more years to complete if it wasn't for Brunelleschi's improvements to a hoisting machine that was used to lift materials up to the masons working on the dome. At the time, there already existed a hoist that could lift materials up great heights. This device consisted of an axle that was rotated on the ground by oxen. This vertical axle turned a horizontal gear that was meshed with a vertical gear on a horizontal axle that contained a large drum. A rope was tied around this drum so that when the oxen spun the vertical axle, the horizontal axle will rotate, resulting in the rope collecting around the drum. This rope was connected to a pulley that lifted the load as the rope was collected around the drum. But there were some aspects of this design that Brunelleschi sought to improve. The first improvement he made was to allow the rope to be tied along the horizontal axle rather than the drum, in order to allow heavier loads to be lifted at lower speeds. Another improvement he made was to add another gear on the vertical axle. When the vertical axle was raised, the top gear that was originally used to rotate the horizontal shaft would come out of mesh with the vertical gear, and the second gear would now be in mesh. This allowed the axle to rotate in the opposite direction without untying the oxen and turning them around. This invention would not have been known to us today if it weren't for Leonardo da Vinci, who documented Brunelleschi's designs. The dome was completed in the year 1436. The dome was 42 feet high, 45 meters wide. This made it the largest dome of the time period, and the largest dome made of bricks to this day. Since its design consisted of an inner and outer dome, visitors can actually walk on top of the inner dome, in between both domes, and up to the top. When you stand in the cathedral and look up at the dome, you truly appreciate just how grand his work was. The cathedral became a dramatic addition to the skyline of Florence.